What's going on everyone? Uh, retire on dividends here. I wanted to make an official video for my yield max, um, you know, estimates on the YMAX fund and on the YMAG fund. I mean, so far to date, I really just gave um, a quick short for an estimate based on simple data. But I actually, you know, ran some numbers and I have more of a better uh, estimate for the Y, Y max at least. Y mag is still kind of a, a guesstimate. So let's let's take a look. So here's the website. Um, if you don't know what Ymax is, Ymax is the fund of funds. It's the universal fund of funds. It owns every single fund in the yield max family, uh, at least as of right now. Uh, when they add new funds, uh, it was mentioned by Jay Petricelli that those funds will then be added to Ymax after you know first after they pay out a distribution. And then they'll be added, you know, I guess after the fact at that point. <clears throat> so that's how the YMAX funds work. So obviously, you know, no yield yet, no distribution yet. So it's pretty new, uh, brand new. And then they have the YMAG fund, which came out shortly after. This one came out uh, January 16th. Um, and most people, I guess they're asking, is there going to be an actual payment this month? I mean, my answer is yes, because um, you'll see in a second that they th they own the funds, right? They own all these funds. And guess what? All of these funds made a payment, right? We got paid. If, if we own this fund, you get paid. You already got paid yesterday. Actually, yesterday was Friday. Um, you got paid on the payment date. And, you know, they owned it when? At inception, right? When was inception? January 16th, which obviously was well before the ex-dividend date. So they qualified for payments on these funds, okay? So now, one more thing before I get into the estimate. I wanted to show you guys something I looked at. So here is the funds as of declaration date, which was February 6th, right? So if you take a look at, um, you know, these funds, you know, I, I captured the market value of each one. And then I captured the cash value. So just take a look at the cash, right? It shows $40,093. Okay, that's declaration date. So we wanted to know, was this fund going to drop by the same amount of each fund on ex-dividend ex date? In short, the answer was no. Obviously, they would not allow that to happen because people then could just play games, right? They could just buy this on that ex-dividend date and then sell it on the payment date, right? So, and that would actually work. However, these fund managers are obviously smart enough to not allow that to happen. And since they own the funds directly, what happened is, um, although yes, all of these funds did drop on X dividend date. However, they did not have to provide those funds to any brokerage. So they put those funds immediately into cash. So what happened on X dividend date, market value went down on all the funds, market value went up on cash. So cash, on declaration was $40,000, uh, $40,093.76. Cash on ex dividend date is $990,602.59, right? Market value, uh, you know, I'll look at Tes Tesla, for example, in a second. Market value on Tesla went down, you know, whatever the amount was, and, you know, market value went up in cash, okay? So essentially, no movement on the YMAX and YMAG funds when all of the underlying, you know, the funds um, had it, had their ex-dividend date, okay? Hopefully that made sense. So now let's get into the spreadsheet. So I did this, let me show you this, and I covered this in one of my daily videos, and I realized most people probably didn't see it. Like, the people who like YMAX may not listen to my daily videos, so I figured I'd cover it again here real quick. So if you look, 2-6, again, was declaration two seven was ex dividend date. So uh, look at Tesla at the top. Outstanding shares did not change, but look at the market value. Market value uh, went down. Okay, so that makes sense, right? The part that didn't make sense to me though the the cost per share um, did not go down by forty cents. It went down by twenty three cents. So that's a little that was a little confusing, but whatever. That's that's be you know besides the point. Um, but um, Let's look at the cash right below that. Two six cash was only forty thousand dollars. Two seven cash went up massively nine hundred fifty thousand. So, long story short, 
uh, YMAX essentially will do it. It does like a cash true up, right? <clears throat> X dividend date drops on the funds. Yes, cash true up. We're good. So no secret discount on YMAX on YMAG. Yes, it's very unfortunate, but obviously uh, these funds will not last if they did that. So we don't want them to do that. Now, on to the estimate. So this will be a normal thing if you guys do want to see it. Um, I had fun with it. And I'll show you guys what I did. So first, YMAX and YMAG, their declaration date is February 14th. I'm making this video on February 10th, which is a Saturday. So what do we got? The 11th Sunday, 12th Monday, 13th, two, so Wednesday. Wednesday is the 14th. And then ex-dividend date right after. Okay, so they'll announce on February 14th, you'll still have the day to buy before ex dividend date, okay? And then they'll pay it out on February 20th, which obviously would be the following week, okay? Now, also, the important pieces here now, what is the ex dividend date of all the other funds? Well, the ex dividend date was uh, February 7th. So I'm going to estimate the yield max distribution based on what they owned as of the open on February 7th, because what they owned as of the open on February 7th should be who qualifies or what qualifies for the distribution. So I'm gonna take the 2.7 SNP right here, and I'm gonna use those weightings, right? So if you look at the, uh, you know, the Tesla, for example, where is it, I think it's on the bottom, uh, third one up, right? They, they had 4.47% weighting in Tesla, right? So for each share, you'll get 4.47% of 40 cents, right? At least that's what I think, right? Because you only own a fraction of that share for each share that you own. So if they pay out 40 cents for Tesla and you own 4.47% of that in one share of WiMAX, then you'll get 4.4% of 40 cents. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. So that's what I did. I used all the, the weightings on the ex dividend date because again, these are posted the morning of, the night, maybe the late night, but morning of uh, ex dividend date, which means they're as of the declaration date. So whatever, whoever owned on the, as of the declaration date should be what's the, what the payout represents. So again, I used the 2-7 date, which we'll get into in a second. So that's, Again, th that's why I have the dates on the first tab. And then I'll do this, like I said, every month. Unfortunately, um, I did not get to do this appropriately. I didn't get the SNP on YMAG, um, on the YMAG fund. So you'll see what I did on YMAG. I did an estimate. So here's here's the, uh, I'll zoom in so you guys can see. Here's Appley for, oh. Okay, Tesla at the top, right? 40 cents. They paid out 40 cents. 4.47% of that is two cents. So what you get paid from one YMAX share, you'll get two cents for your Tesla uh, ownings. OARC, they own 5.33%. So you'll get two cents out of that because they paid 38 cents. Apple, they own 5.48%. You'll get a, a massive penny, huge, massive penny right there. Um, NVIDIA was a big payer, right? NVIDIA, they paid out the $1.53. Luckily, they own 5.74% of that, so you'll get $0.09 cents out of NVIDIA. Not sure if you want me to go through all of these. I'll go through the big ones. MZ was pretty big, though. $0.68, cents, you'll get $0.04. Cents. Phoebe, $1.17, you'll get $0.07. Cents. GUI, uh, nothing. Not even worth mentioning. And Nephilim, $1.25, $0.07. Cents. Coney, baby, $1.07. They only own 4.78% only own of Coney. It's probably because Coney had dropped you know, recently, maybe after they purchased it originally, Coney dropped. So that's why their allocation was, was much less. You know, they, they don't reallocate every day. So, you know, these funds are going to shift. Obviously, they re I think they said they reallocate monthly. Um, so where we got here? DSO, not worth mentioning. Microsoft, not eh, 68 cents, pretty good. They get four cents. Look at MD, man. Dollar 67. They own five point. 0.8% of that. So that's 0 0.09. Pretty damn good. All right. These other ones are crap. Cash, they own 3.56% of cash. And guess what cash pays? Nothing, right? It's not treasuries, it's cash. So you get no distribution from 3.56% of your money. Are you okay with that? 
whatever. It's all good. All right, drum roll. Like my sound effects is very uh, high quality uh, YouTube channel here. Bum ba da da. Sixty six cents. For some reason, my uh, allocation is a hundred point zero one percent. I checked the numbers twice, and it's accurate. So, my estimate for why max is 66 cents for the month of february okay based on again the allocation that they held in each fund on the morning of x dividend date because again the morning of x dividend date should be as of the close of declaration date which is what qualifies for the distribution all right um when i did the average it comes to 68 cents so that one, you know, comes out a little higher. I think I did, when I did the video, I had around 68 cents. So to be honest, it was pretty close. But I'm not going to lie. I'm feeling pretty damn good. Like, if it's not 66 cents, I'm going to be like, what? I'll have to do the numbers on deck date then, you know, just to see what that looks like. But I'm pretty certain we're going to get 66 cents. I'm pretty certain about that. So what does that yield? Well, YMAX as of Friday close. $20.78. So this is a 38% yield. All right. Not quite 40%, but it's 38% yield. That's pretty damn good for being so diversified. Right. So I like, you. I do. I, I'm, I'm a fan. I'm a big fan of YMAX. I wasn't in the beginning because I kept, you know, my thing with double dipping, double dipping, but yeah, they do. They do. They're, they're doing some work on this. Um, you know, they're going to they have to reallocate monthly, they have to add new funds as they come. And on top of that, they mentioned they also may do calls in this fund, which is pretty cool. So it's, you know, calls on top of owning the fund. Like, that's going to be awesome. So I'm really happy about this fund. And just so you know, I'll tell you in advance, this is one of the funds I'm going to own in my retire on dividends account as a high yielder. I'm not going to own the individuals. I'm going to own WiMAX. All right. Let's talk about YMAG. All right. As I mentioned, YMAG, I did not capture. I did not capture the. Um, let's shrink that. Uh, the, the screen print as of X dividend date. OK, so what did I do? Let me zoom out a little. I basically I did a guesstimate for cash. So I started with cash. I don't want to zoom. Give the number away yet. I estimated cash would be 3.5%. I did that because the other one was about 3.56. So let's just let's just assume on X dividend morning they held 3.5% in YMAG fund cash. Okay. So I took all these funds and what I do? I took 100 percent I subtracted out the 3.5% and I divided by seven for the magnificent seven. And that gives an allocation. Again, I know these funds we're not equally weighted at the time. So this is not going to be the exact number. This is just going to be a rough guesstimate. So I gave 13.79% allocation across the YMAG funds. And here's the YMAG funds. Tesla, uh, 40, 40 cents. That would be 6 cents. Um, Apple, 17 cents. That'd be 2 cents. NVIDIA, would be 21 cents. And AMZ, 9 cents. Phoebe, 16 cents. And GUI, 6 cents. Last but not least, MSFO, my favorite fund that I do not own, nine cents. All right, drum roll for this one. Ba -da 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 Boom, 70 cents. Bam. 70 cents beats YMAX, 66 cents. Again, guesstimate still, but I think, yeah, I think YMAG is actually going to beat YMAX. That's very, very impressive. Now, YMAG course not as diversified let me take a sip of water but they own you know seven magnificent stocks so very very impressive performance and who do they have to thank i would say nvidia what do you think and phoebe nvidia's paying 21 cents of that and phoebe's paying 16 cents so why mag owners you are you owe a thanks to phoebe and nvidia so Awesome, awesome performance. Um, YMAG price, 2062 as of the close. So we're looking at a 40.69% yield. All right, let's zoom out. Let's look at the comparables here. 
WiMAX, we got a 38% yield. WiMAG, we're looking at a 40% yield, okay? WiMAX paying 66 cents, WiMAG paying 70 cents. So this is my guesstimate. This is my estimate. I will do this every month if you guys want me to. Um, I kind of had fun with this and it was pretty easy to be honest. It was pretty easy. I just have to remember to capture, assuming I'm right, again, if WiMAX is right, then the, the answer is capturing the um, holdings for WiMAX as of, and WiMAG, as of the ex-dividend date morning, all right? So it's as simple as that, all right? Simple as that. Um, so yeah, I had fun with this video. As always, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. This video is for fun and entertainment. So if you had fun and were entertained and you enjoyed this, please click the like button. It helps the, uh, they say it helps the algorithm. I don't know, maybe it does, maybe it doesn't, who knows. If you think I'm right, leave it in the comments. If you think I'm way off because I'm a schlep on YouTube, leave it in the comments. Let's, let's hear, let's hear what you got. You know, I could be wrong. Of course I could be wrong. I'm always wrong on a lot of things. So you never know. I honestly, I feel pretty good about WiMAX though. Like I said, if it's not 66 cents, I got to go back to the drawing board. Like what, what I miss here, right? Cause that, that's what they paid. That's what they got paid on every single fund. So where else are they getting the money, right? They don't own any of the calls, right? Do they? We didn't check that, right? Did they have any calls? Mm. No, 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 they don't, right? If you want to look at it a different way, you hit download holdings. See any calls? No, just, just own the holdings outright, right? And this is as of, this is as of a uh, 212, which is obviously Friday close, which shows Monday's date, but you get the gist. They don't own calls. So everything they own should just be the funds. So the allocation of that is, you know, is what it is. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. You think my estimate's going to be right. If you have your own estimate, uh, if you do have your own estimate, let me know what it is for YMAX and YMAG. And let me know how you got there. Uh, you can either let me know in the comments or as always, I have a Discord. The link is on my YouTube channel. Um, and by the way, once you join the Discord, which yes, of course, it's free, I will not message you, nor will my moderators, okay? So if you get a message that's from retire on dividends dot, retire underscore on dividends, whatever, my name is retire on dividends, straight across retire on dividends. I will not message you though. So if you get a message from me or my moderators, please report, delete, move on block them right away. It's not me. It's not them. You know, we're not going to scam you for Bitcoin or whatever they say. There's, there's scammers on discord everywhere. It's, it's very unfortunate, but we really can, just cannot control it because they have lurkers in the, in uh, the chat that we don't know what their name is, but apparently they use that name. They go under the other name and they message you message new members, which is completely ridiculous. I don't know if it's bots or it's actual people, but either way, it's just pathetic. Um, but I hope you can join the discord. We have a lot of fun in there. Um, you know, a lot of arguments too, man, a lot of arguments last night, but, uh, it's all for fun though. We're all on the same team. We're all have the same goals. So it's just for a live discussion. I always like a live discussion, you know, of course when I have the time, you know, but it's good. People are always in and out. So it's all good. But anyway, like I said, if you enjoyed this, um, if you want to help the channel, hit the like button. If you want to help it even more, hit the share button, share it somewhere, right? Share it in a yield max group. Share it in a high yield group. Share it in a QYLD group. I don't know. The QYLD gang, that's like the biggest Reddit out there, you know. But, uh, you know, QYLD is a good fun too. But anyway, enough with the ranting. I got to go. I hope you guys enjoy, the, uh, enjoy your weekend. And uh, again, thank you for watching. Later.